Hello students, welcome to the Maths class of Standard 3rd. Today we will start a new chapter, chapter number 1, where to look from, where to look from. So let's start. In this chapter, we will see different types of view of the things, different views we will see. How the things are looking from the different sides. Here, the teacher tells the students to draw the picture of a car. And students were drawing the picture of a car is from different view. Here you can see two students, Niraj and Anshul, drawn the picture like this. This is Niraj's picture and this one is the Anshul's picture. You can see both the pictures are different from different sides. They have drawn the picture of the same car but the picture is different. Niraj saw the picture from the top. From the top. He saw the picture from the terrace. So this is the top view of a car. Which view is this? Top view of a car. And Anshul saw the picture from the side. So this is the side view of a car. Which view is this? Side view of a car. I will show you the car. You can see here this is a car. Anshul saw the picture from the side. You can see this is the side view of the car. And Dheeraj saw the picture from the terrace, from the top. So you can see this is the top view of a car. We can see the things, this is the car. We can see this from the different view. Top view, side view, front view. Okay, like this. Here, this is a cat. Okay, so this is the front view of a cat. This is the top view of a cat. You can see here. Top view of a cat. Front view. Top view. And this is the side view of a cat. Okay. Now, next is a table. You can see this table. Which view is this? This is the side view of a table. You write here. Side view of a table. And this, this is the top view of a table. On table book. So we get this picture. This is the top view of a table. Now few more examples we will see here. Pressure cooker, sleeper, star cook and a bookshelf. And these are the top view of this things. Here you can see this is the top view of a pressure cooker. This one is the top view of a sleeper. And this is the top view of a star cooker. And for this bookshelf, if we draw the top view of this, we will get this picture like this. This is the top view of a bookshelf. Okay. Now we will see here practice time. In this picture you can see this is a cat and this is a classroom. This cat is peeping inside from the top. Oh, the classroom to be great. She is searching. Where is the teacher? Can you help her? She is searching the teacher. So here is the teacher. You can use your pencil and you can draw the line over here. Here is the teacher. See, the cat is sitting inside from the top. Over the classroom and she is searching the teacher. So here is the teacher. This picture is given in your textbook. Okay? I hope this is clear to you. Now we'll see. The next is few pictures are given in your textbook. And here you have an empty space there and you have to write the answer. Here you can see few pictures are given and you have to write their different views. Which view is this? So here first one is given staircase. Okay, this is a staircase. So here you can see which view is this? This is a Side view of a staircase. So here we write the answer. Side view. Okay. Which view is this? Side view. Next is also a staircase. But the view is different. This is the front view of a staircase. Which view is this? Front view. The empty space you have to write the answer in the textbook. Next is a table. Which view is this? This is the top view of a table. Once you have table, so you will get this picture. So this is 
the top view of a table. Okay. Now we'll see the few more things and we'll write the views, different views. Okay. Here you can see few more examples. This is a chair. Which view is this? You can see this is a side view of a chair. So here the right side view. Then the next is pencil. You can see this is a pencil. Which view is this? Which view is this? Pencils top view. Here you can see this is the pencil. It will see this pencil from the top. So you will get this picture. This is the top view of a pencil. So you will write top view. Okay. Next is the picture of bus is given. So this is a side view of a bus. So here you will write side view. Here we have seen different views of different things. You can see here. This is the top view of this things. Top front view, side view, top view. Here we have seen side view, top view and side view. Okay. I hope this is clear to you. The different view of the different things. Now we will see the next topic is Rangoli. When we are making Rangoli in Diwali. Here you can see in your textbook this Minakshi is making a rangoli with the use of dots. She is from Tamil Nadu. Every morning they are making a rangoli with the use of dots. This is a column pattern. Okay. So here I will draw a few rangoli and I will show you how to draw it. Like this you can make a rangoli. You can use your creativity and you can make different patterns. Like this way, with the use of dots, you can make a different rangoli. Okay? You can see this. This way, you can make the rangoli with the use of dots. Okay? With the use of dots. This way. We'll see few more rangoli. Okay? Here I'll draw the dots and then I will show you. With the use of dots, you can see here, two examples are given. They were made different patterns, different rangoli. Here the empty space is given. Here you have to draw your own pattern. I will show you how to draw. On the board, I have drawn the dots. I will show you how to draw. Here you can use your creativity and you can also make different patterns, different rangoli. This way, similar way, you can make a rangoli like this. Maybe you have made in Diwali. Hum Diwali ka rangoli banate hain. Aise hi aapko yahan pe dot with the use of dot aapko rangoli banate hain. Okay. Next is on the next page. Here few more. Make other pattern also yourself. Here few patterns are given. This same pattern you have to copy here. This empty space is given. Dot is given. Here you have to copy this same pattern you have to copy here. That also I will show you few patterns. Here you have to draw few patterns. It is already given in your textbook. You have to just copy it. Like this way. It is not necessary that every line is straight. It should be curved also like this. This way also you can make a pattern. Here, like this way, curved lines. Okay. You can use your creativity. You have to just copy the patterns from the up. Just given in your textbook. Okay, now we'll see few more examples. Here, next is half figure is given like this on the top grade. You have to complete it, you have to make square and rectangle. What you have to do? You have to make square and rectangle. Okay, so here we'll draw the line like this way. And we have to make a square. This is a square. 
next year this half figure is given and we have to complete it like this way you have to make a square and next is your this way you can make a rectangle this is also to make like this is also given in your textbook also that you have to draw by your own self next is here you can see dot grade is given and you have to make a kite a leaf and a bow first we will draw a kite here this way you can make a kite okay next is a leaf
this picture here dotted line is not divided this picture into two similar halves you can see this is the bigger one here two corners are there and here only one corner is there so here this picture is not divided into two similar halves so here we have to write no next this is a square dotted line is here this is also not divided into two similar halves here you can see this picture is also triangle and this dotted line is divided this picture into two similar halves so we have to write yes here in this picture you can see both the sides are not equal so this picture is not divided into similar halves two more examples here you can see this is eight eight is divided into two similar halves with the use of sleeping dotted line sleeping dotted line so here you can write this it is divided into two similar halves this is two you can see here both the sides are Okay.